don't have the husband, you got a pastor. That's right. And and, and that pastor has been given to you by God that can see things into in the insight from God. If you communicate with him, he's in communication with God. Watch what watch what Paul says when Paul was where in prison, Philippians 4 13. Now that sounds strange for Paul to be on lockdown in shackles on death row and say, I can do all things through Christ Jesus which strengthens me. Paul says, now watch, the church sold into Paul. And when they sold into Paul, Paul says, now watch what I'm gonna do. He says, I'm gonna move from, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. He says, I'm gonna pray in myself that God will supply your every need. Your covering has your contract. And then when you allow your covering to expose your contract, God will expose to you what he have for you to do. But you got to have the covering. You got to have so many times we can't get the com communication, but we don't have the conversation with the covering. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why God give you a pastor, not just to preach on Sunday, but have private communication. Pastor, what do you see in me? Mm -hmm. What is it? I'm, I'm going through the transition. What do I need to do? And God will reveal unto him or her what it is to be poured into you. Now, watch. When he pour or she pour into you, it becomes your responsibility not to be afraid to pull back and to sow back into them. Yeah. And that's where a lot of folks miss the point. They get it, but they don't sew back from where they got it from. That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Bishop, any advice for singles that want to go out and start a business? What would be some of the first things that you would want them to do or suggest them doing? Well, real short. Okay. Starting a business, first of all, you got to have faith in God and believe that God can work that particular thing out in your life. If you look at the word faith, you have to understand what it means. It's really simple. It's giving God something you cannot afford in order for God to purchase something you can't buy. Mm. So you give God what you have. He in turn has purchased what you cannot buy. So when you give that business idea to God, He in turn has purchased everything that you need to make that business work. And it starts all uh, with having faith in God and trusting Him and giving to Him first. And everything that you need, God supplies.